it's about survival, you know, when I see a place like that and the story how, because he, granddad, grandfather, he lived to tell the story, you know, and um, he, he lived till he was like 80, 90 years old and they buried him here. So what does recognition mean for you? Just acknowledge that my parents and grandparents suffered a lot to give me a lifestyle that I have today. And do I understand that we all, in all this history of Bundaberg, Australia, and we all have a past, but just to acknowledge that that suffering that those people don't have, we can give something back to them by getting that message out that, you know, and coming together. Coming together and knowing that we didn't just plonk here for the, for the sake, but we're, we're here for a reason. Mm -hmm. And one of my mates, or one of my other brothers, they talk about, we were brought over here as helpers. We come over here to help with the children. We come over here to help with the Indigenous people. If you have a look at us today, we do. We all sit on Indigenous uh, organisations. We, we are helpers. We help people. And, and, and we get off our butts and we do something about it. And, we, and we're trying to do something about it, but it's an acknowledgement for our old people, mm. what they, the suffering they did. And when you see what they did, the heartache, oh, the, you know, I could not imagine when you ripped away from your parents, your children, or you, the, well, you brought away as a child. Some children were brought away and never, never seen their parents again. Mm. You know, you can't imagine how that must be. It. And they, they die of heartache. Um, we have the records of people they died young ages, 16 to 25, it's just, there's hundreds of them. Mm. And, they, and they died that early age from all those things, diseases. And I, I believe heartache, they die from a lot of that. Yeah, just, mm. just not, not belonging to anywhere.